right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK, and has the crowd on hand as usual here tonight. When the UFC expanded, when the UFC started going all around the world, becoming a global sport, London was a target area. England was a target country because you understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football game. You watch it, you know, they show up, the UFC approached this place, the UFC targeted England, we went there, and every time the fans have showed up. Oh, nice little white right hook there. Oh, roundhouse kick, add that to his highlight reel. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Back and forth you go. He's able to get that one blocked. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. One dripping now from the lip. connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Missed on the right hand. 
beautiful defense. Nice block. combination there. All right, he engages in the single power tie. My chance starting to see some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Now goes to the uppercut. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. And they separate. Nice counter right hook there. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Just over two minutes, round one. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. That was a beautiful. Push kick there to the body. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that stuff. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. What a kick. That one landed. One minute. Right hand, yup. He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come down. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Take your time. He's right for the pickets. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> you got to go. Back to the feet now. Final seconds of round one. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Fire lands a jab. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something, because the more he's standing, 
Moore is going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And... Oh, no. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Right down. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, right into mount. This is a terrible position. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, it went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Man, he is so sad. He's Just over two minutes now to go. Missed with that attempt. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Big shot on the feet! Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Big right hook there by the champ. Making all these shots count. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getups. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but let's go finish the match. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything is working. He's in the zone. Oh! Goes down again! Under a minute to go in the round. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, nice count. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man. in. Oh. That's it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream 
that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.